welcome back to my channel it has been a while I know um, I'm sorry I've just been like super busy part of my roots I really need to get my hair done but um today I thought as I was getting ready I thought you know what I have some extra time so I'm gonna film an eyeshadow tutorial so I am going to film an eye look today a smoky brown eye using my Urban Decay Naked One palette um, so if you are interested in seeing if you are interested in seeing that look, keep watching. But anyways, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shader brush, a flat shader brush, and I'm going to pick up from my Urban Decay Naked Palette Half Baked, which looks like this. And I'm going to place that all over my lid. Flip my mirror around here. And I'm just going to pack that color all on my lid. And this is a really pretty gold color. It's just a really pretty, I don't know if this light makes it hard to see, I don't know. But I'm just going to pack that, as you can see, all over my lid. Now this next eye will be easier for you guys to see. Sorry, I'm, I just set up a new makeup room down here and so I'm still trying to work things out on where I want to put stuff. So leave comments down below if you guys have any suggestions. But as I said, I'm just going to pack it all over my eye. And like I said, this is just a really pretty gold color. Um, some you can before you start you can prime your eyelid um, this time I didn't because I used a uh, concealer over my eye um, and then I just lightly patted it with a powder because I don't want I want this more of a light smoky eye as to where if I wanted like my colors to stand out really bright um, I would suggest the Urban Decay what I'm retarded the jumbo eye pencil and milk I love this eyeshadow base but as for right now I'm not gonna worry about um, priming my eye because I already used a uh, concealer as a primer when I did my foundation which I should mention um, for my foundation I used the um, for my concealer I used my Mac Pro Longwear concealer and then I went with my um, Leo Ellie BB cream which this was my first time using it and for the most part I like it it's really light it only comes in one shade so it's super light but I mixed it with my Smashbox foundation and I just put that all over and then I went back through and I highlighted with um, the L'Oreal under eye and then set it with my um, Makeup Forever powder and then my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish powder all over the top of that. So that's what I have on my face. Bronzer is my Casino Makeup Forever Casino, no my NARS Casino. My blush is NARS Orgasm and my highlight is the Mary Lou Manalizer highlighter is what I have so far. But back to the eye because that's what we all came here to watch. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up Toasted in the Urban Decay Naked One palette, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that just right in my crease. All over the crease of my eye. And this is going to be just a really pretty transition color. As you can see, I'm just putting that right in my crease. And you will notice that there will be fallout. But I'm just going to put that on my other eye, right in the crease. Using windshield wiper motions. And the brush that I used is a crease brush through Mirabella. Just any crease brush will work. But I want to pack that on there really good because I want it to be a really nice, pretty transition color. And then what I like to do is pick up a full powder face brush and I just wipe away my fallout. As you can see, it just really easily wipes away. 
Um, the next that we are going to do using another crease brush, what I'm going to have you do is pick up, um, let's do Dark Horse, which is this one right here. And we're going to create a V, just an outer V with that. At the crease of your eye, what you're going to do is you're just going to bring it down, just the outer V of your eye. And you're going to have a pretty defiant line right here, but that's all right because we're going to go through and we're going to blend it all out. Once again, wipe away your fallout. I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see how I created that. So this is what we have so far. I'll show you how I did that. Just really darken up, and this is what's going to give you your smoky eye effect. Just really darken that up. Alright, and you can see the fallout, so I'm going to show you how easy this is with my fluffy brush. I just wipe away that fallout. Perfect. Let's darken up this side a little bit. Alright, now we're going to take that flat shader brush again. Your, um, just your all over blending brush and I'm going to pick up that half baked color again and I'm just going to repress that on my eyelid right here and just kind of focusing on the middle and just patting and blending those two colors together right clean up under my eye Alrighty, now I'm going to take some of this dark horse and just drag it along my bottom lash line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to pick up Sin. And Sin is just this really pretty, let's see if I need to, there we go, that's Sin. I'm just going to pick up some Sin. And I'm just going to put it right along the highlight of the underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to use this kind of as my highlight under my brow bone, but just kind of work it all the way out and drag it underneath. So again, we're going to pick up our sin. And I'm just going to blend that right here and drag it underneath my eye. So this is kind of what we're left with so far. Then I'm just going to take a Soho um, fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to go through and just blend right in the crease just so we have no harsh lines. Hope as I have a nice hair. Let's get that out of there. Alright, so now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you, oop, wrong way, kind of what we're left with. So there you have a really nice blended smoky eye all using so something else that you can do as well is you can pick up um, if you take another crease brush if you pick up um, creep or gunmetal which are these two darker colors if you pick up some of that and just put it right here on the outside like your right outside let me zoom you in for this out out of your V and if you just darken up that V right here this will give you a really deep smoky eye you just darken that up right here just in your outer V don't do too much or you're gonna look like you have a black eye but let's just deepen up that crease see and now we'll take that blending brush if I know what I did with it and we'll just blend that 
But see how that just darkened or smoked it out just a little bit more? Kind of wipe that away right there. All right, but that is what you're left with. So what I'm going to do is I am then going to take my eyeliner. And the eyeliner that I like to use is the Espresso. It's the CoverGirl Perfect Point, and it's in the color Espresso. And I'm going to just put some, actually, I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to zoom in and show you how I did that. So I'm just going to put a very thin line at the top of my lash line. Gently pulling on your eye. And then also I'm going to go in and I'm going to tight line underneath my eyelashes. All right, so I'll zoom you in. So next step, what we are going to do is we're going to take that jumbo eye pencil and milk that I was talking about earlier. And I have really slanted eyes. I, I mean, I like, I have really kind of almond eyes. So I like to then go through with this milk and I like to put it right on my waterline for my underneath eye and I just put it on an eyeliner brush like this and I just put it right on my waterline and what adding this white does is it makes it opens up your eye a lot so it'll give the appearance of wider eyes I really need to sharpen this sucker. <laughs> All right. Another hair on my nose. So now what we'll do is we will go in with our mascara. And the mascara that I have been loving lately is the Maybelline Falsies. I use this as my first base. And then I like to go through with my Bare Minerals and just put that right on the top. And I have the curliest eyelashes that I cannot curl them or they go in circles. <laughs> now we'll go through on this side. So there we go for the first coat. And then I take my Flawless Definition, which is a small, like a more skinnier brush, and I just use that to really get some length on my eyelashes.
And then I just put it through right on the bottom lashes. And there you have it. A really fun, nice, classic smoky eye using your Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'll zoom in and show you. I'll go ahead and throw some lips on. Might as well. So my lip combo that I've been loving is the Mirabella Dream, which is just this really pretty color. And I use this to line my lips. And then I love to pair it with Max um, Creme de la Femme. I love this color. It's just a really pretty pinky nude. See it right there. Mm, that lipstick smells so good. And there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, just leave me a comment down below if you guys have any other looks that you want to see. And I would be more than happy to do them for you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.